Well, happy Monday and welcome to the venue live. My name is Roger Ramirez and this is Houston's first online live performance venue brought to you from r, &R Studio. We are here in the studio with my good friend, Patrick Gamble. What's going on? Who's solo artist. Uh, welcome to the studio. Hello. So you're going to be delighting us with some acoustic music today, man. Sure am, yeah. So, uh, so first things first, man. During sound check, you mentioned that, that you've been working on an album. Uh, can you tell, tell us a little bit about it, a little bit of the history? Uh, how long has this process been going on? When do you plan on releasing? Uh, you know, just, just a little background about the, about the album. Okay, so um, it's going to be my first solo album. It's, a, it's an acoustic kind of, kind of vibe thingy. Um, it's country pop, R&B is the genre. It's um, with the guys Don Tino and Kevin Bomars, my producer. And uh, it's with Support Local Music out of Clear Lake. I don't know if you know those guys, but you should check into them. They're really big supporters of the music scene here in Houston. I'll have to check into them because I don't know anything about them. Yeah, they're really great guys. Um, so I've been recording for about a year, year and a half, off and on. Um, we've had a lot of like family stuff going on, you know, just life, life. happening, you know. So it's uh, been stopping and going, but uh, it's coming near to the end, and uh, we're getting the production done and all that. So it should be coming out. Um, like mid 2020 so well we're really year. excited about it man you yeah. you came in here and you did sound check and i knew you were good yeah, but, you. but you have a really good voice man and 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 even without any effects uh without any without really anything with the setup from last night he just he just you started singing and i was like man this guy is actually really good thanks man it means a lot and so uh so tell us a little bit about about your background and 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 what kind of drove you into the music scene Okay, uh, <clears throat> my father, um, <clears throat> excuse me, he, he played guitar in rock bands like all growing up since we were kids. And um, so he brought me home my first electric guitar. Mm -hmm. I was about 10 years old and uh, it was an Ibanez, I remember a red one. And um, so he kind of taught me the ins and outs like rock chords and like minor scales and stuff oh, cool. like that. So I just sit in the room playing all the time and it just became like an obsession of mine. This, I always play yeah, my yeah. guitar, you know, teenager guitar thingy. And back in the days, there wasn't as many distractions like video games or yeah, cell phone, I yeah, yeah, iPad so fucking, thingies. So fucking we, social we media. We played outside. Fuck you know? social media. No, <laughs> if you're on social media watching, subscribe. <laughs> subscribe to social media. I mean, whatever. But uh, so I formed a band with a bunch of teenage kids out oh. in Pasadena, Texas. Oh yeah. And uh, I was walking down to the corner store and uh, heard some music, some noise actually, coming out of a garage. <laughs> so me and my brothers were looking in there, my brother uh, Tommy and Eric, and uh, we look in there and there's this, this guy with like a trench coat and long hair, like mascara, <laughs> and we're like, what the heck's going we're, we're on We're taking here? practice to the next level. Yeah, so we just kind of like started talking and hanging out and uh, brought our instruments over and um, kind of started a little garage band thingy. And uh, ever since then, I've just been playing music. Just been keeping on going. Uh, one of my singers was late to a practice, and uh, I was just messing around on the microphone. And they were just like, "Okay, he's out your end. You're the singer." <laughs> so I was like, "Okay, cool, man." So that's fucking awesome, just dude. How it's been. And where are you from? Um, I was born in Galveston, Texas. Mm -hmm. I was raised in South Houston, mm -hmm. and I graduated in Galveston. It's kind of oh yeah, kind of back and forth. I don't know what to do with that. But. <laughs> well, I work in Galveston a lot all the time. And uh, and even though it's Galveston, mm -hmm. there's like a new there's like a new appreciation that I have. Just maybe it's just getting out of the city and just seeing the ocean. Oh, it's you know? nice. I love it. It's it's I mean it's it really is like takes a lot of that stress away. Like I don't really go for I go to work, 
but it, but it's nice being yeah Odyssey, working. Man. You work out there, huh? What mm -hmm. do you do? Uh, I am an audio and video engineer. Oh, surprise! Uh, surprise! <laughs> <laughs> that was a goofy question. <laughs> <laughs> so pretty much what I do here. Well, I don't do interviews for a living, but <laughs> but all the technical shit that nobody sees mm -hmm. is what I do for a living. Oh, okay. So tell us a little bit of like which artists have influenced your style and mm. kind of like made you to what you are now like what what do you listen to who did you listen to and influences tell us a little bit about that that is a, a big that's a it, it is a, it's a big spectrum. question um i grew up listening to um like 80s bands like uh -huh. hair metal skid row stuff like that queens Rye, all that um that was my dad so I really like that. I have that influence, like the ballads, Bon Jovi and stuff like that. And um, as I got older, I started listening to the, uh, like, Asking Alexandria, Bullet for My Valentine, Avenged Sevenfold, and always just, like, uh, singing to yeah. the albums, you know? Like, like I ben loved Sevenfold, it. Man. Trivium. I like Trivium. I don't know if you know who they are, but if you don't, check them out. But uh, anyway, so I was just always into that. And then recently, I started um, listening to country music, believe it or not, and uh, R&B more, and it's just... So I got like this pop kind of vibe going on and I also do like metal music. So it's yeah. just kind of, it's hard to explain. Um, I like Johnny Craig from Slaves. He was in that band Slaves. He's a really big influence of mine. Tyler from Issues. Nice, um, man. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty good. So at what point um, did you decide that, fuck it, I'm gonna start writing some tunes. Like I, I know you're gonna do a few original songs today. Yeah. Like. Did you always have that in your head or was it like there was something that happened in your life that you just felt like you had to write some shit down and um okay so i first realized i wanted to be in a band whenever i was i would watch like vhs's you know back in the day i was <laughs> watching vhs's with my dad of like uh bands performing i'm like man i want that i want to perform like i want but i know that you, you know, mentioned that your dad was in a band as well mm -hmm. right That's yeah cool. he was he played guitar he toured um like quiet riot and saxon cool. and all those guys and uh so it just i really liked i don't know they all have a message and everybody sings those words and listens to that person you know so i kind of always wanted that of people to like maybe listen or you know you have the control whenever you have the microphone mm -hmm. if you're yes. if you're playing what people want to hear you can uh you can portray whatever you want to say or be to those people and they actually listen to you so that's kind of what draws me to music I uh, write from uh, like life experiences and stuff like that. So um, I feel like it connects more with the with the audience. You know, if it's like something you're connected to personally. Yeah, you know? I feel like um, maybe you express it a little better, put put more heart into it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I think I'm they could tell when you're not singing about like Lamborghinis and hoes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you sing about something that means Some something that's strippers. real. You know, <laughs> we live real life, so I mean, people relate to yeah. real life. You know. <laughs> That's what I think. So uh, tell us a little bit about the, the songs that you have prepared for us tonight. <clears throat> okay, um, one of my songs, it's probably one of my favorite songs that I've written. It's called The Ugly. And it is, it's about all the judgment and uh, racism and uh, violence and like the school shootings and all that stuff. Like all that going on is so ugly in the world. You know, everyone is just so look at this and pick this apart and like I'm better than you because of that or you know what I mean yeah. so the song is basically about like it's not too late to um, appreciate we're all human beings and you know if if we all realize that we're just human beings at the end of the day we're all the same um, we could get rid of all the ugly that's what that song's about so that's cool man I can't wait to listen to that yeah it was good so do you have any performances coming up that people can go see you yeah um okay so last year was the first annual tune out cancer festival which is the reason why you're here yeah to to part of it part yeah. of part of it you know uh, i know we talked to kevin and uh, yeah kevin he, he's, he's the connection for this and so shout out to kevin kevin hamlin kevin hamlin if you're watching uh and you are uh go ahead sorry yeah um okay so he he kind of came up with his idea one day and he just posted it on Facebook and he was like what if I did this festival each year and brought in like 50 bands and vendors and donated all the proceeds to Tex uh, what, Texas Children's Hospital mm -hmm. sorry about that um, and you know everybody just responded to it so positively and he actually did it he pulled it off last year 
It was a positive uh, event. And so he's doing another one this year at Wildcatter Saloon. Mm -hmm. And, uh, oh, it's actually, I believe it's in 2020, right? February yeah. 21st yeah. through okay. 24th, I believe. You know that. <laughs> I, I, I think okay. so. I, I think so. I believe that's correct. So anyway, um, the performance, like you're asking, uh, this Friday we are playing at the 19th hole in the Woodlands, I believe. It's $10 to get in. Um, it's all acoustic artists. There's going to be eight artists there. And they're all artists from the Tune Out Cancer Festival that goes on each year. So you can come out and one-on-one -on -one directly meet with these artists. And uh, we're just kind of promoting for it and all that stuff. So... You guys come out this Friday at 19th Hole. Check should it they, out. Should they print out screenshots of your performance so you can sign for them? Oh, yeah, sure. I'll sign anything. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever you got. So uh, so tell us uh, where people can find you on social media. Uh, Patrick Gamble. Uh, look that up. Um, also, Pat Gamble Official. I have an artist page. Um, also in a band uh, named Astoria. A-S-T-O-R-Y-I-A. Astoria. That's the name that I kept seeing with your name. Uh, yeah. Uh, we're like a um, like a hard rock kind of kind of metal vibe band. So just check that out. We're playing at BFE for our friend Frankie. Uh, he runs BFE out there on Jones Road. And uh, November 2nd, we're playing out there with a bunch of really good bands. And then November 8th, we're playing at Scout Bar in Clear Lake. So you guys come check it out. And uh, I hope to see y'all and meet y'all. Yeah. Well, we gotta we gotta get you here with your with your full band. You know? Yeah, I know. I really would love that. I came in here. I was da, da, like, yeah, we could jam, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, let's, awesome. Uh, yeah, no, but we're definitely gonna we'll work it. We're definitely we'll work gonna it set in. that up, guys. If you're watching on YouTube, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. We need your support. Uh, here in R and R Studio, we showcase local Houston artists, and uh, it's it's a free service that that we just feel like we 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 want to give something to the music community. I want to be remembered, or you know, we want to be remembered as as people who gave, some who did something for the for the music community in Houston, and really, you know, Dallas, Austin, because we have bands that come from from those places. Yeah, that's already. awesome. And so your subs your subscription is very important to us. Share it with your friends. Tell them about it. If you know of any local artist that would could benefit from from performing their music, we we built this platform that gets streamed out to YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. I got to count because because three is too hard to remember. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so um, uh, send them our way. If you're watching on Facebook, make sure you share this 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 event. Uh, we want to make sure that Patrick Gamble gets seen by a lot of new people. We want to make sure that his music, uh, and his original music and just your, your music and your voice, you know, a lot of people, it reaches new ears. Thank and you. that you you gain new fans, man, because man, this is what this is all about. I really appreciate it. We, this is an awesome we, thing. We want to promote local artists' music to where they can grow. A lot of artists don't, me especially growing up, I didn't have the opportunity to do something like this. So so I'm just, I want to make sure that, that those bands that, that, that never get heard because either they don't know the right person or 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 the right person doesn't like them or you know or they don't fit a certain guidelines yeah. to be at some of these places we want to give them this platform to to shine and may make sure they have a good 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 demo and you know just take it out there and promote themselves and uh, if you're watching on twitter just retweet the event um give us a bunch of hearts share it again we want to make sure that patrick's music gets heard all Thank over you. the place maybe somebody worldwide and freaking <laughs> china will hear you bro and we'll, we'll yeah. book you for a concert Fuck. Sweet, let's do it. I mean, what All right, so uh, so I think we're about to go, guys. Are you ready for this, man? Yeah, one last shout out. Hit up the G spot over there in um, Santa Fe. My buddy Gypsy Overton, tattoo artist. They are uh, really good friends of mine. They sponsor me and uh, great work. Hit them up, Gypsy. Awesome. Well, I may need some tattoos. Yeah. And uh, actually, one last thing. Uh, we want to give a shout out to our sponsor, uh, Westone Audio. Uh, they provided in ears for everybody in the studio. Uh, they sound very sexy. <laughs> they fit very comfortably. And uh, we all use Westone Audio. And uh, if you're going to use in-ears, Westone Audio is the way to go. I got I to gotta come up with a song. I'm get me a pair now. Yeah, dude. Hey, I gotta, I'll write the song. Oh, you do music too. Yes, we'll I do music. We'll write the song. We'll <laughs> collaborate on a Westone Audio song. It's coming. It's coming. All right, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so let's do this. We're going to take, take a short break while uh, Patrick goes and gets set up. You're in for a treat. Don't go anywhere, guys. Check it out. Awesome.
check one two there i am all right guys so we're gonna make sure that patrick's microphone is on let's see you're in the bass booth and and then you get your guitar going mm. brother one thing, um, i gotta tune this thing yeah go ahead baby <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why i call everybody baby bro all right guys so this is roger we're mixing this live we're we're using the legendary midas products um if you're watching please subscribe to the youtube channel um make sure that patrick's music is heard and so uh you're in for you're definitely in for a great treat um i heard him during sound check and i was blown away the guy can sing yeah, it's, it's not just a myth that he can sing. <laughs> I can't use this capo thing he'm going to do. Uh, no, figured you out. figured it out, bro? Yeah. All right, man. So you're, you're live. Uh, take it away, man. Um, tell us a little bit about your story. Tell a joke. Whatever the, whatever the hell you want to do, man. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm Patrick once again, and I hope you enjoy my set. We'll talk throughout or whatever. And uh, This song is called Houston, We Got a Problem. kind of town This is my kind of place Wouldn't mind hanging around For more than a couple days I got a 12 floor room with a killer view A BMT Astro Dome It's having the bar downstairs But all I can think about is home I got my new boots coming in return A tone mess, a Texas t-shirt And a long stop postcard postmark Missing you He's got the biggest guy you'd ever see The cup would his beer you'd ever dream But I still feel like I landed on the moon Cause it ain't got you Houston, we got a problem You should have seen lights ain't straight You should have seen the middle at a rodeo With the saloon door swing When they line dance the Caparillo Road Something about the air around here that'll make you feel Where all them cowboys do I wish I was an outlaw But all I can think about is you I got my new boots covered in red turn A tone mess with Texas t-shirt And a lone star postcard postmark missing you He's got the biggest guy you'd ever see The cowardest beer you'd ever dream But I still feel like a lady Houston, we got a problem Going to the World Series. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway, shout out to the Strohs, boy. What do I got next? That was, uh, that do. You sound great, bro. Thanks, man. Not gonna lie. Thanks. Are you watching? Thank y'all for watching. Share this, please. Share the, uh, yes. the page. Get yes, going. absolutely. Somebody, somebody commented, Fer, Fer Rodriguez. Uh -huh. They said, nice boots, bro. Man, I came straight from work. I got babies and whatnot, so. Nah, dude. I got <laughs> sexy cowboy boots, bro. Sexy cowboy. <laughs> All right, bro. <laughs> you sound you sound awesome, bro. Okay, so this next song is called "Letting You Leave." Um, I had a dream, and um, <laughs> it's not supposed to start like that. Anyway, so I was sleeping, and I had a dream that I was searching for P 
people that I could recognize, like um, loved ones, friends, just anybody I could recognize. And no matter where I went, I would talk to people like, hey, did you see Dave? Or hey, did you see Miguel? Or, you know, and they were just like, man, you just missed them. They were just right here. You just missed them. And I'm just like, man, what's, what's going on? And um, so I woke up. And I just had this feeling of being alone, you know. I went to my garage, and I sat there, and I cracked open a beer at, like, 3 in the morning. And um, I wrote this song, and I turned, I turned on my iPad, and I just kind of, like, freestyled it. And this is, this is what came out. So I hope you enjoyed that one. Uh, it's a really personal song of mine. I enjoy that song, bro. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's awesome, man. 
Okay, so uh, the next song I'm going to play is a song called Tonight, and um, I think you'll enjoy it very much. Hopefully you do. If you don't, tell me. Comment. You guys, I like, I like being interactive. I like getting feedback. Um, you know, um, it's not what you want to write. It's what people want to hear at the end of the day. It's not really what you want to play. It's what's uh, marketable and what, what you guys really want to hear as a vast audience. And, you know, um, getting feedback really helps with that as an artist. So you guys leave comments, send messages. Um, I'm real open to it. I always respond. Uh, anyway, let me get a sip real quick. You get you that sip, man. Get that little Budweiser in. Uh, maybe you'll get paid for that. Budweiser, hit him up. For real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> All right, um, is my guitar any louder? Can I get it maybe a little bit louder in the mix? It sounds, it sounds good. All right, here we go. If ever I get lost in your eyes, please just let me stay right there a little bit longer. Cause underneath the stars, we are on fire. And I don't want to go. If you don't want to go We can just stay here in this minute And lose all track of time Let the world spin on without us for a while I'm telling you we're just one kiss away from heaven So baby hold on tight Cause I want to get wrapped up in your love So baby let's just stay here tonight Tonight, I just want to linger like this on your lips and Taste the soft air on your skin, hold you in my hands Well, anything and everything, you know that I'm all in We can just stay here in this minute and lose all track of time Let the world spin on without us for a while I'm telling you, we're just one kiss away from heaven So baby, hold on tight Cause I want to get wrapped up in your love So baby, let's just stay here tonight Tonight, baby, let's just stay here tonight Tonight Tonight, tonight, oh, 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 oh. stay here tonight. Well, I don't wanna go if you don't wanna go. We can just stay here in this minute and lose all track of time. Let the world spin on without us for a while. I'm telling you, it's just one kiss away from heaven. So, baby, hold on tight. Cause I want to get wrapped up in your love. So, baby, let's just stay here tonight. Tonight. Baby, let's just stay here tonight. All right. Great music, bro. That's that's really dope, man. You sound Thank super you. awesome. Thank you so much. Man, I'm I'm really enjoying your music. I really, really appreciate it. Thank it's you. gonna be it's gonna be so dope when you get the full band in here, bro. <laughs> Thanks, man. Okay, so yeah, I can't wait to do that, by the way. That would have been so cool. Let me see what's going on here. All 
Okay, anyway, so this next song we're going to play is uh, what we talked about in the interview. It's called The Ugly. Um, it's just about all, all, all the judgment and, um, you know, I want this or I want that. Nothing's ever good enough. I don't appreciate where what I do have. Um, you know, that's, that's what I feel is wrong with everybody today is there's just so, mu so much materialistic um, wants and desires out there. And if, if you don't have, then um, you're considered not accepted or not cool or you at least feel that way, you know, because all these eyes peering upon you. And it's just um, this song is I wrote it about, you know, if maybe we can we could shut out all of the devices and all of the, you know, name brand things and, you know, the, the flashy stuff and just appreciate each other for human beings. We're all human beings. We all came from the same person, the same God, the same place. You know, we all just want to survive and be somebody in our lives. And, uh, you know, if we took the time to appreciate each other, then all the ugly would go away. And that's what this is about. can't think just what we have become oh, 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 oh. cause we're like that far away from what we wish we weren't or oh, should it be so what is it we're trying to prove is there any way Cause we are free To do as we please At least that's what we think Yeah Cause we can find That remedy To cure all of our Ugly. And yes, I understand You may need a helping hand In times of me but no one is right, yet no one is wrong Except for me So what is it I've been trying to do? It seems there's no way out Cause we are free do as we please At least that's what we think, yeah Cause we can find that remedy The cure of the ugly The cure of the ugly Cool, sir. cool man. Um, so this next song I'm gonna play is a cover named Snuff. I'm sure some of you guys know this song. It's uh, actually by Slipknot, and you wouldn't think it because people hear Slipknot, and they're like, "What? Uh, no, I don't want to hear that." But uh, <laughs> it's actually one of their ballads. So, uh, yeah, I really like it. And I think a lot of people will enjoy it. Hopefully you do. By the way, this song's for you, Kevin Hamlin. <laughs> Carry all your 
secrets in my skin Come away with innocence Be there with my sin It only still feels like a cage Love is just a camouflage But what resembles rage We're gonna Let me, let me go And run away before I know My heart is just too dark to care I can't destroy what is in there Deliver me into my fate If I'm alone I cannot hate I don't deserve to have you Ooh, My smile was taking longer If I can change I hope I never know Your letters to my lips Cherish them with parts of me Save for every kiss I couldn't face a life without your light But all of that was ripped apart When you refuse to fight So save your breath or will not care Think of me very clear You couldn't hate enough to love Is that supposed to be enough? I only wish you weren't my friend Then I can hurt you in the end I never claim to be a saint Ooh, My hope was punished long though I took the death of both to let you go Punished long of you, so can't don't ever let me know. If you so can't don't ever let me know. Let me know. All right. Cool, man. It's a pleasure to have you in the studio, bro. Thank you, brother. It's a pleasure, man. It's a pleasure being here, that's for sure. Thanks, it's man. It's nice to get off work, come hang out with some buddies, you know? I hope, you, I hope you're enjoying this, man, because I, I know I am. All right, all right. You sound like a phone sex operator. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, so this next song is a cover also, and it's called Mercy. And I hope you like it. Maybe if you know it, you'll be singing at home. <laughs> I want to stop this whole damn world from turning Mercy Why are you hanging on so tight if this ain't working? Why you want to stop a flame if it's still burning? Cause it's still burning 
Well, if you're gonna break my heart, just break it. Well, if you're gonna take your shine, then take it, take it. And if you read up your mind, then make it, but make this fast. If you ever loved me, have mercy. If you go out tonight and get drunk and lonely And wind up home alone, please don't call me And say you miss me, no Well, if you're gonna break my heart, just break it Well, if you're gonna take your shine, then take it, take it if you read up your mind, then make it, make this fast. If you ever loved me, have mercy. Oh, have mercy. Well, if you're gonna break my heart, just break it. If you're gonna take your shot and take it, take it. And if you read up your mind, then make it, make this fast. If you ever loved me, oh, if you ever loved me, have mercy. All right, all right. Damn, you you sang the shit out of that, bro. Yeah, it's a little personal for me. I love that song. Yeah, man. It sound, sounded like you were releasing your heart out, man. Thanks, bud. Um, okay, so I got two more songs. This song I'm going to play is actually the first song I ever wrote um, by myself. I was 13 years old, so it's a pretty old song, and I never really perform it, and I just figured I would uh, do something one time for you guys for having me out here at the venue, you know? Really appreciate being here. So, uh, of course, man. We appreciate you. Probably can't find this song anywhere else. So, hopefully, you enjoy it. Ooh, a little drop D. Throw a little drop in there, you know. I was 13, so. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, it's all good, dude. This song's called Last Breath. Your 
breathing down my leg My spine is tingling And that's now turning back loud Super dope. Thanks, man. And you know the acoustic. I've always had a hard time writing um, upbeat, happy songs. You know what I mean. So uh, spent a lot of time writing like personal, sentimental stuff, and it comes out kind of sad. But um, I like to think maybe like the message in it can relate to somebody sitting there, you know, uh, going through maybe the same things I was going through at the time. And maybe maybe it does something for you. Maybe it don't. I'm not sure. But um, well, you'd be surprised, man, how many songs actually touch people, man. I've had plenty of songs get me out of, like, like really, really shitty situations, you know? Oh, yeah, for sure. And, you uh, know, it's one of those songs that you, you know, it's maybe a song that you fucking random, like, you've heard your whole life, but you go through certain situations, man, and and it's just, like, it just touches you, man, you know? Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Uh, and, yeah, as an artist, I'm I'm definitely lucky. I'm, I'm blessed because... Um, you know, I was given I was given a gift, and you know, maybe I think there might be a reason for there's a reason for everything. You know, I didn't really ever work for it, but maybe like I'm I'm supposed to um, you know write write messages to people. You know, I love everybody. I love all of you guys, and uh, you know, somebody loves you. You're not alone. You know, and that's that's um, a big deal to me. So, uh, anyway, this is gonna be my last song, and it's called Dark Times. Waking up at half past five With blood on my pillow With one bruise I I drank too much, you know What I'm like But you should have seen the other guy This ain't the right time for you to be falling in love with me Well baby, I'm just being honest Healing low, my lies cannot make you believe Running in circles, it's why In the dark times, I'll be going back to the street Making these promises I can't lie keep In the dark times, baby, this is all I can be Not even my mother can love me for me In the dark times Light one up and let me bum a smoke Still coming down with a dripping throat That's another man's blood and it's on my clothes But in this fox, the life I chose This ain't the right time for you to be falling in love with me Oh baby, I'm just being honest Healing low, my lies, I cannot make you believe Running in circles, it's why In my dark times, I'll be going back to the street Making these 
these promises I could not keep With my dark times, baby, this is all I can be And only my mother can love me for me In my dark times In my dark times, still got some problems I know Cause I'm driving too fast, but I'm still moving too slow And I got some things I've been trying to let go but pulling me back every time Well, in the dark times, I'll be going back to the street Making these promises I cannot keep In the dark times, maybe this is all I can be and only my mother can love me for me in my dark times, yeah. Thank you guys so much. I'm Patrick Gamble, and you guys follow me on social media and follow the venue and r, &R Studios. These guys are awesome. Um, thank you, Support Local Music. Thank you, the G-Spot Tattoo, Gypsy Overton. Thank you, Punk Star Radio, Punk Star Industries, um, Chris Harding, Kevin Hamlin, Tune Out Cancer. I will be seeing you around and come out Friday to the 19th hole out in the woodlands and hang out with us. A little acoustic set. Well, dude, thank you very much, man. Can't thank you enough for being here. It was a pleasure to meet you. And hopefully this is not the only time that you're here. Hopefully we can have you here with your full band. We'll, no, we'll plan wait. on that, man. Uh, all right, guys, if you're watching on YouTube, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Make sure you share the event. Make sure Patrick's music is heard. He has an amazing voice and a great talent. Uh, and guys, thank you for watching tonight. Another another successful episode of the Venue Live. This is Roger Ramirez with R&R &R Studio. Y'all guys have a great, great evening, guys. Thank you very much. <laughs>